Manjari Vinati, thank you so much for your time. Firstly, congratulations. I've seen your film. I can safely say that I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and you know, that doesn't happen very often nowadays. So extremely happy for both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rohit. And I'm so glad you enjoyed the film. I yeah, did. I uh, so, you know, I want to, um, of course, I'm going to talk about the movie, but you know, there's no way I can, I'm, this is the first time I'm interviewing both of you. There's no way I cannot ask you, when did the bug of making a movie bit you guys? Um, when was this? Of course, you know, everybody knows that your dad was one of the most loved actors by the entire country. So when did you guys decide that let's do this? You know, it was it was such an organic way. I don't even know, or like there was not some sort of one incident that uh, uh, takes me to that. Oh, this was the time when I made the decision. But it was very early on. Like we would watch movies with our dad, come back home and discuss it. We weren't we weren't the kids who were like hanging out on set much, and you know we grew up pretty protected that way. But we would discuss movies and break it down. And in those discussions, my dad would say, "Oh, well, you know, you you think like a director." And I was like, oh, what does a director do? Because an actor acts, you know, a, a, a DP films. And uh, he was, and, and I didn't know what a director did, but I pretty much knew early on that I want to tell stories. Right. And, uh, and I think it was uh, also one time just like spending time because he did a lot of theater and uh, watching sort of that Prithvi theater transform into different worlds was also amazing. It's like, oh, I want to tell stories. Right. Right. Vinay, mm -hmm. you're also the co-producer, co-writer for this, uh, for, uh, for Skater Girl. And also, you know, you've uh, done the casting as well. Um, you also were interested in some aspect of it that you ha you'll have to make movies. You know, so like Manji said, it was such an organic process for us. Um, I think a turning point for me was uh, the time that we spent um, doing theater. Right. So when um, when we told our dad that you know this is the industry that is uh, drawing us like it's 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 a calling, he said, "Tum log theater se shuru karo," mm -hmm. and that's when we started assisting backstage, and we, it really the world completely opened up for us. We started um, with with really small stuff. We would be cleaning the set, we would be serving water, we had to bring the shoes, iron the clothes, and. And the like, the world unfolding on stage was so beautiful that right. that we just felt this is what we want to do. We want to tell stories. Right. And now coming to your movie, um, I what I read was you know you all were seeing videos of um, people skating in villages. Uh, is that how it worked out? Where did the first idea of this story come from? So I had no idea that skateboarding was sort of a thing in India, right? Because I'm I'm based in LA now. Here you see skaters every day. Right. And uh, and when I stumbled upon like the fact that skateboarding was picking up in India, mm -hmm. we went and took a journalistic search. Vinati and I were like, you know, this is this is incredible that who would have imagined that skateboarding can have an impact on communities and, and thrive in such a way that it breaks through the caste system. It breaks through social barriers. And in our research, we discovered that there's a beautiful skate park uh, uh, an Australian guy built uh, named Oliver. He built in Skatistan, in Afghanistan. Okay. Uh, and um, not in Skatistan, I'm sorry. He, Oliver he's an, is an Australian who built a skate park in uh, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and uh, it's called Skatistan. Okay. And they've done some incredible work. And that inspired one of the skate parks uh, in, in Madhya Pradesh. And then that we went, you know, to Janwar and we met them there and we realized that, wow, this is beautiful work that they're doing. Then we, you know, discovered Kovalam. Uh, 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 there's a skate park in Kovalam, then in Delhi, then Bangalore and all these skate spots and skate parks sort of, you know, started coming up in our research. Right. And right. I was just blown away by what skateboarding can do and that it was thriving in India. In fact, even now, People don't know that, you know, the skate trend is taking on and hopefully the film can, uh, you know, introduce skateboarding in a in sort of a, a mainstream way. Right. So how did you guys uh, weave a story around it? Because, you know, seeing videos and getting um, happy about skateboarding picking up was one part. And then yeah. you decided, OK, let's make a film out of it and the story, right? So what we did was, you know, uh, the moment when you find something as novel as skateboarding, Mm -hmm. uh, creating change, you're like, wait a second, this is exciting, it's refreshing, it's new. And then Vinati and I decided that, why don't we make a skate park? Okay. 
Okay. And you know, if we if we want to make a film about how something like skateboarding can create change, why don't we make a skate park and and then see what that change ha- what change happens? And uh, well, we sort of you know decided that we're going to take this ambitious task of building a skate park, and we spent days and days scouting and researching where would we make a skate park, and we traveled extensively through Rajasthan. And of course, Rajasthan is such a beautiful, vibrant uh, state. And we filmed there a lot. And uh, we spent time with like hundreds of girls researching, uh, you know, talking to them just because we wanted to tell an authentic story because this film is not just about skating. Right. It's a coming of age story, you know, of uh, of a few people in the film, actually. Okay. And uh, uh, and yeah, and then we, then we did all this research for a year, spent a year writing and creating... Uh, creating you know this this original idea of how skateboarding um, uh, can change can impact and change a community but of course it was inspired by what was already happening right uh, in india right so when you all went out to make a skating park for some for someone um, was it a part of your film you had it in mind that we are going to make a film and that's why we are making a park or where, what how, what came first the park came first or the film idea came uh, so the film idea came first. The idea of, you know, uh, that uh, uh, we want to make a film on skateboarding, that idea came first. And then when we were doing our research, we realized that why don't we, this is such amazing impact skateboarding can create in communities that why don't we actually build one, mm-hmm. you know? So why don't we build one and then leave it be- beyond the film so that that the social change and the impact can continue. Right. And usually, you know, in films, you don't do that, that you make a set and leave it in perpetuity. Right, right. So right. Um, we then found uh, a skate uh, build team. We uh, got in touch with Make Life Skate Life. Uh, and these guys are uh, a bunch of skaters who make skate parks around the world wow. in different right. communities and make social skate, like sort of, you know, a social project skate parks. So they connected us to 100 Ramps and Holy Stoked in India, and they became our build partners. And together we sort of designed an international level skate park uh, for the film, which would then eventually stay on for uh, for the community in Rajasthan. Amazing. How did the community react initially when you all went there and said, this is our plan, we're going to take some space and make a skate park for you? What was the reaction? Initially, when we the excavation started, it was obviously a very weird and new thing, right? Like this massive excavation and we would have locals just pass by and one one man just stopped and said madam aap swimming pool bana rahi hai is registan mein aap itna pani laengi kahan se and we said nahi hum ye swimming pool nahi bana rahe ye park ban raha hai skate park ban raha hai acha acha parking ban rahi hai yahan par the next day we had somebody come in who, who thought we're making a parking lot um until the construction was actually complete people had no idea and even when the construction was done we had children standing at the periphery of, of the compound who thought this was a structure we were making for ourselves. So they would just stand at the boundary and just very with keen eyes look at what is this beautiful thing. And we said, this is your space. This is for you. And we gave them the skateboards and the thrill that they had on their face when they realized this is our space was something we'll never forget. And now this is their, this is their second home. This is where they are before school, after school, on a holiday. So it's really become their second home now. What a beautiful thing to do and what a thoughtful idea. So do you, for the audience who's watching and they don't know where is this exactly and you know, where, when, where did they all build it? So this so is... In, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Manjit. Uh, it's in, uh, 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 it's uh, about uh, 40 minutes from Udaipur okay. in, a, in a village called Khempur. Okay. While you were making this and you know this, you, you all got the best, you know, skateboard building team, uh, skate park building team for this. Was this a greenlit project from someone? Because this all is sounds quite expensive. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was it was an independent film. So uh, we uh, it that and that's why I say it's a very ambitious project because our blood and sweat has gone into this film, yeah. Yeah. and uh, and also you know we had to we had to do certain things that were outside the films sort of, uh, you know, parameters. Mm -hmm. And uh, because otherwise you can't really justify making a a skate park on a 
uh, on a budget for or a little independent film. Nice. So, so yeah, so a lot of our sort of uh, personal endeavor went behind making this film, and uh, and we had and we had a really good team of uh, people backing us. Right. So you know, while you're ch- while you're talking, we're also showing the viewers pictures of this skate park, that wonderful place that you all have built. Um, tell me, once this film was over, um, are you all in touch with them? What do you, what do they tell you? Because it's kind of life changing what you've done for them. Very early on, we realized that this is going to be a lifetime project for us. Okay. The film would have been finished in about a year or two years maximum, including the prep and the filming and post. But the skate park lives on, right? Mm. These the kids. Th- this is their space. So I interact with them on like a very regular basis. In fact, we took some of the kids to the national championship, mm. and these are the same kids who hadn't skated before, who didn't know what skateboarding was till three years ago. and now they were at a national competition wearing their rajasthan jerseys they came back and the entire village knows that these are the few kids who've gone outside the village right. and and their lives are different it's it's so, it sort of instill that spark in so many other kids we have more kids coming now to the skate right. park right you know uh, the casting must have been very a very interesting uh, project by itself uh, because um, you know the girl who plays that is lovely and you know everyone who you have in the movie plays a very significant role um what was that like you know are there people in the film who are from there you know that you want to say about the casting process since you were so heavily involved in it but yeah, yeah the entire i mean i'll give you the germ of what this sort of brief was we needed we needed uh a- actors who could skate or skaters who could act Right. And then we ended up getting non-actors and non-skaters and training them in both. <laughs> right. Right. So uh, uh, and the idea was that we want to get you know uh, um, uh, characters who can just blend into the place rather than trying to to manufacture and manicure what the space looks like. So right. a lot of what you see on screen is the village with very little bit of you know. Um, set dressing and uh, uh, we had an incredible production designer priya who really took great uh, sort of attention in making sure that that the palette looks as real and as authentic as it can and a lot of people from the village are in the in the movie both in the construction of the skate park they were involved mm-hmm. and the, uh, and the community were also involved you know playing themselves on screen and our actors just had to blend in but the casting process was was super super extensive so what you all have done is not just made a g- great film you all have also uh, introduced a lot of people to skateboarding you all have built yeah. a, a skating park for them which is incredible again uh, last question is uh, obviously do both of you skate yeah, you know the first <laughs> the first injury on the skate park when it was constructed was my collarbone breaking oh my God. and uh, and that's when and that's when uh, my producer said that's an insurance liability so you can't skate till the film is over Fair but enough. yeah i brought i i bought my first skateboard uh, while we were doing research for this film right vinati uh, vinati you're frozen now yeah. go ahead i i do i do cruise around a little bit and can and can achieve a trick or two but yeah i'm not an ace skateboarder i i hope i can be in a few years It's amazing what you both have done. You know, you all have introduced a lot of people to it. You all have made a permanent place for them to enjoy. It's a, it's unheard of. You know, from whatever we have covered in the movie business. So great, very well done. And again, once again, I want to just tell the viewers that it's an incredible film. Please go out and watch it. Thank you, you know, both the, of you. It's the, it's a, it's, Thank it's. You. I think the biggest sort of reward for us making this film yeah. has been building the skate park because not often you get this chance to make a movie on social impact, but also leave something behind for the community. So that was the most special, uh, special thing for us to be able to facilitate through this, uh, through this endeavor. Right. Sorry, and I did miss asking a question. You all did. You all did want to um, include the cast factor in it. Is this something that you saw there? Uh, or is this something that was on your mind because it's a play it's a, you know it's a it's a it's a rural place yeah there were a lot of subtle things that while we were researching and meeting girls in sort of rajasthan especially we met one girl while we were scouting in uh, in kempur who uh, who was married off at a very young age and you know the task of deciding where to build a skate park was important because we had to do three things one is find a beautiful rustic village 
find concrete roads because the kids had to be able to skate and find a place where there are a lot of kids who can be impacted through this uh, build. And uh, meeting several girls from, from that village, we realized that there are a lot of subtle nuances that, uh, that one, we can you know, make part of the film, but also that it will Im impact that community. So yes, uh, a lot of the caste systems, a lot of the norms, a lot of the traditions that they still believe in, uh, you know, uh, were very subtly woven into the woven into the film. Like for example, you can't if you're, if a girl is menstruating, she can't enter the temple, you know, or or the girls being married off at a young age. So a lot of these moments found their way into the story. Right. No, and you're very. It's done very well, and like you said, very subtly woven into the movie. Whether it's people, you know, two communities drinking water from two different taps. So very, Correct. very well done uh, with that as well. And uh, incredible film again. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you Thank so you. much, Roy. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm.